On April 1st, the Katana Zero Twitter account made a post mentioning something called Katana Hero, which was a reimagining of the game. Now, being April Fools, you could have been forgiven in thinking this is just a silly prank. But lo and behold, the beta code actually works, and the alternate version of the game was fully playable. And you too can play it using the beta code, not the DLC bro. Simply boot up Steam, find Katana Zero in your library, and right click it to go into properties. And then go into betas, and then type in the code and hit enter. Once you confirm, there will be a small update and you'll be good to go. So, what's different in this version of the game? Well, the story is completely changed. Without spoiling too much, we start off with Zero in the video store and deciding to hire a strange bootleg movie, which he then takes home and watches. And what we play is that movie. But what does this amount to? Well, some of the enemy's appearance is completely changed, and new and wacky dialogue is added. And I mean it when I say the dialogue is wacky. Some of the stuff they come up with nearly had me in tears laughing, and it plays off as one of those old poorly dubbed kung fu movies. As for the gameplay itself, you'll be playing through most but not all of the base game levels, and other than a few new effects and a bit of a different context, nothing has really changed here. There's also a few new soundtracks added to the game. It took me just over two hours to beat the story, though a bit shorter than the base game, now, obviously nothing that happens in this version of the game is canon or related to the real game story, although we do get a tiny bit at the end, sort of hyping up the DLC. The hidden keys do make a return appearance in this version of the game, this time as Bento, however this time around they don't unlock any alternate swords or content. Again, I don't want to spoil anything in this video, but a certain boss returns at the end of the game, and the reskin is absolutely amazing, so I strongly recommend playing this one out to the end. Overall, this was a really neat little project, and a fun way to replay Katana Zero in a more light-hearted, silly way. Oh, and don't worry, Justin specifically mentioned this did not take any development time from the real DLC. If you haven't been keeping up with the latest DLC news, take a look at some of the videos on screen now. Thanks for watching, and let me know your favourite new bit of dialogue in the comments below. My favourite was definitely the big rig trucking section.